welcome back. This is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos. And today we're going to be doing this really fun potion bottle Halloween tumbler. As always, I will make sure to put everything down in the description box below so that way you guys can shop those items if you would like to. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tutorials, tips, vlogs, products, all kinds of stuff I have coming your way. So let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. Today I'm starting out on a 30 ounce tumbler, or a regular curved tumbler rather, that I purchased through the Stainless Depot company, but you guys can obviously use any type of tumbler you already have on hand for this project. I went ahead and prepped my tumbler and I spray painted it black to go with the glitter that we'll be using for the base today. Now, as you guys can see here, I am going to be applying my glitter right into the epoxy today. So I'll show you guys that here in a second. And I am actually using Amazing Quick Coat Epoxy, which is a fast set epoxy. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but I always have a 10% off discount code down below in the description if you guys would like to check that out. Now the glitter that I'll be using today is called Jack, and this is from my glitter shop, associateglitters.com, if you guys would like to check that out. Another thing that would go really well with this is Black Diamond, so either one would look fantastic, I think. But as you guys can see, I just added my glitter straight to my epoxy. You just want to add enough until you think it will be good enough to be able to spread onto your tumbler and to also put it into a coaster afterwards. Now this is a super quick and easy way to kind of get a really nice smooth finish with chunky glitter after you apply it to your tumbler. Now once you have it all mixed up really well, you just simply want to apply it directly onto your tumbler. I did three really big just pours of my glitter and epoxy mixture right onto it and I made sure that I smoothed it out really well. I made sure that the bottom was nice and smooth all the way up to the rim there. But I know I really enjoy using this technique when I know I'm going to be doing a full coverage tumbler. It really does make it go by a lot quicker because you don't really need to do anything to it after this. It is extremely smooth once this has cured, which I will show you guys here in a minute. And because I had a bunch of epoxy left over, I went ahead and did up a coaster as well, just so that way you guys can see that, you know, there's more options out there. If you do have extra epoxy, it's always fun to kind of do a matching coaster to go with your tumblers sometimes. Now, because I am using the amazing quick coat, it only took about six, seven hours before I was able to apply my decal. So I went ahead and I put that onto my turner. I hit it up really good with my torch. And then I came through and after my coaster was all done here, I spritzed it with rubbing alcohol to get any little bubbles off the surface. I let those cure for six to seven hours and then it was good to go to apply my decals. Now, speaking of decals, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I made them. Now I wanted mine to look like they were kind of glowing on the tumbler, so that's why I just did the outline only or the uh, offset only on these tumblers, but you guys can obviously do it any way you prefer, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I do it. Now I used two different types of fonts for this and I got those off of defont.com and I'll make sure to put those in the, into the description below. But Hot and Halloween, as you can see, is one font and Ghouls is a completely different font. I went ahead and ungrouped my Ghouls portion and I wanted to make sure that the G was just standing up a little bit more. I didn't really like how crooked it was. So I went ahead and straightened it up a little bit. I made sure everything was spaced the way I would like. And then I'm just gonna simply highlight it and attach or weld everything back together. So that way, when I go to cut it, it won't make any extra lines on my vinyl when we go to cut it. Now that the ghouls portion is the way that I would like, I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup Hot and Halloween. And I'm gonna put those exactly where I want them on my decal here. All I simply did was just make sure everything was lined up straight in the middle there. And then I just made it kind of overlap each other just a little bit. I really liked the way that looked. So I went ahead and made sure that it was just overlapping just a tad. So that way, when I went to go cut everything out, it was all connected together. And once I got everything lined up the way that I would like, I went ahead and welded all the letters together. 
And once that was welded, I went ahead and applied the offset to it. The offset that I put it on was 0 0.56. I went ahead and put that on there. I went ahead and sliced it out of it. And then I'm actually going to do it one more time because I don't know why. It's almost like there's something in it that makes it not want to cut properly. So I do it twice and then it does it properly that second time. And your Hot Ghouls Halloween decal is ready to be cut. Now the potion bottles that I used, I got straight off of my Cr Cricut Design Space, which I'll show you guys here. I just looked up potion and found them that way. But there are so many amazing potion bottles on Etsy that you guys can find. I did find some on there that I liked, but I wanted to use these ones. So whichever potion bottles you guys want to use, it's completely up to you. But I went ahead and did the same exact thing as we did the Hot Ghouls Halloween. I did an offset, sliced it, and all I did was cut out the outline or the offset portion of my potion bottles. So I'm going to go ahead and get those cut out and they'll be ready to add our decals. Now it's been six, seven hours and the tumbler is ready to have its decals applied. Now look at that. Nice and smooth and beautiful. I love this color. I should use it more often. <laughs> Now the vinyl that I'm going to be using today is a holographic green vinyl. I just thought it accented really well with the darkness of the black tumbler with the bright green vinyl. I thought it really made it pop and make it look like neon light shining on the black tumbler. And all you're going to do is weed out your designs here. You're going to place it where you would like to on your tumbler, it doesn't matter where it goes because there is no right or wrong in art. However you guys decide it needs to look, it should look that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up my decal. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and then we'll apply our potion bottles as well. Now I made my potion bottles about three inches wide so they're a bit bigger. If you guys don't want them that big, they don't have to be that big. However you guys wanna do it is completely up to you. I added two different designs on the front and then I actually added one on the backside as well. The reason why I did one on the backside is if I wanted to add a name and after we do the potion coming out of the bottle, I thought it would look pretty neat with a name right over top of the potion liquid coming out the top. So that's why I went ahead and just put one on the back so that way we could do that as well. I'm also going to add one right to my coaster. I accidentally cut off the bottom and I thought it would go well. I just kind of screwed it up against uh, my coaster there and you can't even tell that I accidentally cut it. So there's a way to you know, kind of work around stuff if you need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that last decal right onto the back and they'll be ready to add our, our potion look to our tumbler. Now we're ready to do the fun stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some quick coat epoxy, enough to be able to fill up our coaster and do our tumbler as well. So once I get that nice and mixed up, I'm actually gonna go ahead and add it to my coaster first because as you guys know, if you let this stuff sit, it actually cures a lot quicker when it's really bunched up and all together in the cup. So if you put it in your coaster first, that will ensure that it doesn't accidentally seize up on you before you're able to get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit, just enough to be able to do what we need to do in the bottom of that coaster. You don't wanna fill it all the way up just yet because you wanna be able to add this next step that we're gonna be doing to it after we're done adding the potion look coming out of the bottles. So just a little bit. Now I'm going to take two cups. I'm going to put a little bit of this epoxy right into those cups. One I am going to be putting some mica powder in and the other one I'm going to be putting a glitter mixture into. I'm going to put those two cups off to the side and we'll work on those in a minute. But I want to, I want to go ahead and put a nice coating of our epoxy straight onto our tumbler so that way our potion look has something that it can kind of move around in. So you want to make sure that you have a nice base for your potion to move around in. So just make sure you put your glitter on really well, put it right onto your turner, and then we'll get to that in a second. Now that that's on my turner, I'm going to go ahead and I, I'm applying some purple rain right into my epoxy here because I want to make sure that I kind of put a little bit of that into my potion. I also have a really nice mica powder that I just purchased from Hobby Lobby. It's called this Pearl X powdered stuff. That's that's all I'm using. And I did apply some of this alcohol ink, but I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. It completely went away. The color went away. Once I added it to the tumbler, it did not stay. So it really was kind of pointless for me to add that. But, you know, hey, you, you live and you learn, I guess. <laughs> 
but after it was fully cured, it was an extremely pale lavender color that was actually pretty hard to register. It looked more white than anything, but the color was there, but hey. <laughs> Okay, our colors are all mixed up. We have our nice, beautiful mica color here all mixed up, and we also have our glitter mixture all mixed up. So now we're just going to simply apply it to our tumbler. And this is very abstract. It does not have to be perfect. You just want it to look like potion coming out of the bottle. That's all you want to do. You also want to make sure that you add enough of it so that way we can add, or if you want to add the little details that we're going to be adding to it after this is cured, you can do that. So just make sure that it's wide enough and bright enough so that way you can kind of add your details to it after we're done. But other than that, it's completely up to you. However you want to swirl this around, however you want your potion to look, it's going to look a little bit different after it's cured, so just keep that in mind. And because we're working with quick coat epoxy, you also want to work as quick as possible as well. So if you don't feel comfortable working with quick set epoxy, maybe just use the regular stuff so that way you don't have to work so fast. But all I kept doing was just taking the flat end of my stick here, dipping it into my epoxy mixture here, and just swirling it up the tumbler. That's all I did. It is extremely simple, and I know you guys got this. Now once I got my potion look kind of down how I would like it to look, I'm going to come through with my glitter mixture as well. And you can do the same thing like you did with the potion look. You're just going to take that glitter mixture and just swirl it right in with everything else. But all in all, you just want to have fun with it. This is whimsy. This is out of the box. This is something different. It doesn't have to be exact. Wherever your imagination takes you, just let it take you there. All right, now don't fuss with it too much, all right? You just want to apply it and walk away. That's all you want to do, just like our beach waves. Apply it and walk away, let it do its thing. Now you want to go ahead and move on to your coaster as well. We're going to do the same thing. You want to think about how you want your potion to look, and you want to make sure that it's thick enough so that way our little decals are visible once we go to do those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just swirl in some of this potion look and I'm going to also add in some of the glitter as well. Now this look kind of disperses a lot so you want to make sure that you actually apply a little bit more than I did here. I actually had to come through a second time and add a little bit more to make it look a little bit more dense because it just wasn't thick enough for me once it was cured but it's not a big deal. I fixed it and it was good to go. So you guys just want to make sure that you really make sure that you kind of fill it in there because it does kind of change looks once it's curing. So just go ahead and fill everything in. Now, because we use the quick coat epoxy, this is another six to seven hours, but by this time it was pretty much the end of the day for me. So I just went, out, went ahead and let it sit overnight and then I'm going to finish it up the next day. I knew I wanted to make something look like it was coming up in the potion with the potion. So I wanted some skulls, but you guys can obviously use cats, bats, uh, any type of Halloween thing. Go ahead and use it. Now, again, I got this design right off my Cricut design space and it was a free design. So anybody can use that if you're using a Cricut. It is free. So you can use that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into my Cricut design space. I'm going to get that down really small because I want to fill in just the little inch squares. And all I'm going to do is just flip them around, make them the size that I want. And for those that use this design space, you know each square is about an inch. So I just went ahead and filled in each little inch square with these little skulls. After I had my little inch square filled in, I went ahead and I attached them all. And then I made up a whole bunch. And then I'm going to kind of line them up together so that way they're nice and even. And then we're just going to make kind of a page out of that. So we're just going to line them up and then we're going to attach it again. And then we're going to duplicate it again until we can fill up an entire water slide paper with our little images that we would like to put into our potion. Now, after I have them all together, I'm just going to make sure that they are attached. And then I'm going to make sure that I print this out right onto my water slide paper. Now, if you're new and you don't know how to use water slide paper, I'll make sure to attach a little link above so you guys can see how I do my water slide paper, but it is extremely simple. I know you got this. It's very simple. So we're going to go ahead and get that printed out, sealed up and applied to our tumbler. 
Now here is our tumbler the next day, looking fabulous. You could obviously leave it as is if you would like to. It's completely up to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and move forward and show you guys how to add your little decals coming up into the potion with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and here is my paper and I'm just gonna make little cuts. You just kind of wanna match the flow of your tumbler. Now, obviously anything dipping off into the black, you're not gonna be able to see it. So it's pretty neat that way that it will only show up in the smoke area and it will look like it's just coming up out of that bottle magically. Now, if you see, I made sure some of that potion was kind of com coming up over the decal there. So I just wanna make sure that I just kind of go with the flow of the potion and add as much little details as I would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my water. Then I'm going to apply it. And of course, once you apply your decals, you just wanna make sure that you press all that water out from underneath so that way there is no water left. Because if there's water left, that'll accidentally leave little white marks on your decals there and you definitely don't want that. So make sure that you press all that water out and just keep going all the way around your potion until you are done. All my decals are applied and this is what it's looking like so far. I'm pretty happy with it and I hope you guys have a lot of fun making these as well. I thought it was pretty neat. And let's not forget our coaster. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna cut out our little decals. We're gonna apply it to the coaster and we're gonna make sure that we press all that water out. And once you're done applying your finishing decals, you just wanna simply let these dry for about 30 minutes. It really depends on your environment, especially in the summertime, they dry a lot quicker. So however your environment is, just make sure that you're aware of it, make sure they're nice and dry, and then you're ready to apply your epoxy. With my coaster, when I go to apply my finishing epoxy, I just make sure there's enough of a lip left over so that way it still looks like a coaster. You don't wanna fill it to the brim just enough until there's just a little bit of a lip still showing. So that's all you wanna do with that. And I'm gonna apply two last finishing coats of epoxy to my tumbler and she is good to go. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.